the bell icon to turn on notifications. Let's talk about custom fields. Custom fields are a great feature in Asana. They allow you to structure the data and once the data is structured correctly, then you can filter the data, you can search the data, you can export the data correctly, you can sort the data, and it just simply helps you organize the data you have. Uh, because usually data in Asana is a task with a name, an assignee, and a due date. With custom fields, a task can become much more than this. Let's take an example to discover custom fields. Let's say I'm a marketing agency and I want to manage my blog using Asana. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a blog post management project, blog post management inside the team. One blog post is actually a title, a bunch of keywords used for the website, a status, as well as a length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three different custom fields. In order to create custom fields in Asana, you need to go into the customize menu in the top right corner. Then you go into add field. That takes you to the custom field creation area. You have three types of custom fields, drop down with options, option one, option two, text and number. Let's start with the dropdown. That will be, in our case, the blog post status. The status could be draft, could be in progress, could be in review, to publish, and published. By default, Asana will put colors on the options. My suggestion is most of the time to remove the colors Asana uses because they don't make sense in your case. So at least you need to adapt the colors, but most of the time you can just remove the colors. In our case, maybe the published status could have some green color that would be uh, enough in our case. That's the blog post status. As you can see, that creates a new column into the list view and the value will also be seen from the board view uh, when we change layout to board. Let's create another one. We have the blog post length. That's going to be a number custom field. You can choose the format. In our case, that's going to be a custom label because I want to count the words. So I'm just going to use W in the position to the right of the label without any decimals. And here is my custom field. And then the last one is about keywords used for the website. That's gonna be a text custom field, and I'm gonna create the field. So now we have the three custom field, and what you can actually do right now is create a bunch of tasks. So for example, uh, post number one, this is about uh, a new blog is born. The status is draft. Actually, I realized I forgot a status. So I'm just going to go back into edit options and add a new option. So I'm going to go right there and I'm going to create a one that is called to write. And I'm going to leave the red uh, color, which makes sense in that case. The option is to write. The blog post length, uh, the target I have is a thousand words. And then a bunch of keyword would be a new update blog. And then I can create a second one. What I'm going to do this time, let's discover our website. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to edit the custom field from the task panel on the right. So that one has, let's say I started working on this one. Okay. So it's in progress. The post length, it's 2000 words and we have website and blog. So on the right, you have exactly the same options as the list, but that could actually be customized. If you go into the customize menu, you can choose which custom fields are displayed in the list view. And in my case, the length doesn't make a lot of sense to see that information in the list and the keywords doesn't make a lot of sense either. 
What's interesting about custom field is that you can actually sort by custom field by clicking on the column. If you change that little uh, toggle there, sort within sections, that actually, if you untoggle this, that actually gives you visual sections based on the custom field value. I'm just gonna go back to listing by task name. Actually, I'm gonna go back there, no, no sort. Then you also realize that you have the ability to filter that view directly by going there into the filter option and click on custom filter and you can choose blog post status and choose to only see what needs to be written. Let's go back to the customize menu and edit one of the custom fields. I want to talk about three, actually two important checkbox we have at the bottom. The first one is asking me whether or not I want to add the custom field to the library. When you add the field to the library, it means other project could use the same field, which makes sense a lot of the time. Sometimes it doesn't, you want to keep the field private and sometimes you want to share the field. If you want to search that field for that field specifically, you need to add the custom field to the library. Otherwise you can keep it private. And also drop down fields have that second checkbox, which is about notifying collaborators of tasks when the value changes. And for example, in our case with the status custom field, it might make sense to actually notify the entire team of the, actually the task collaborators of any change on the status. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check both of those uh, checkboxes. And I'll go next and show you how the search works. Because if you go into the search at the top, into advanced search, you can add a filter based on a custom field. And then you can see that the blog post status is there. You can also see that the other custom fields I created are not listed there because I did not check the box. So you can actually search for any blog post that has the value in progress and you can search. You can see that that gives me a list of all the tasks that have that specific custom field with the specific value I gave. So again, as a conclusion, custom fields are a great way to structure the data, just simply organize things better and allow you to filter, sort, search and export in a better fashion. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.